hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will allow the zombie to damage the player so for doing that let's open up the player movement script as well and on the player movement script what we will do at the top right here now we will create another header and this will be by the name of player health let's name it name it as player health and damage in here we will create a private integer by the name of max health the maximum health of the player will be 100 okay then after this we will create a public integer by the name of current health and this will be equals to nothing so we will leave this as it is then after this we will leave a comment for the health slider and the death screen for now okay for now we just need these two so in the start method we will set the current health of the player to the max health then if we scroll down right here after this player footsteps let's create a method by the name of take damage in here we will pass an integer by the name of damage amount okay so if the zombie attacks the player then the amount Okay, the damage amount the zombie can give we will pass that amount to this damage amount and then we will decrease the health of the player according to the damage amount okay so we will set the current health of the player to minus equals to the damage amount and then we will check if the player is dead or not so for checking that we will say if the current health of the player is less than or equals to zero then what we will do we will set the current health of the player to zero and we will call a die method but we need to create this die so right down below we will say private void die and in here we will show the death screen but for now we don't have that so what we will do we will simply debug a message that the player has died okay that is it for the player movement now if we get back to the zombie ai right here what we're gonna do is after this attack delay let's create a public integer by the name of damage and this will be the amount of damage this zombie will give so it will be by default 10 then if we scroll down right here inside this attack with delay we leave left a comment for ourselves which is a uh, damage the player so let's go ahead and do that we will say player movement okay this is the reference to the player movement let's name this as player movement as well and then this will be equals to player dot get component and from the player we need to get the player movement script right here the p must be capital okay because this is our script name and also our main class name right here all right so once we get the player movement script then we will check if the player movement is not null okay so if it is not null then we can apply damage to the players so we will say player movement dot take damage and let's pass the damage value to that function okay so this damage value is 10 so this 10 will be passed to this 
method on the player movement right here to this damage amount so now the damage amount will be 10 so 10 will be minus from the current health and if the current health become less than or equals to 0 then the player will simply die okay so in this way you can damage the player now before saving the script and getting back to unity right here make sure that you remove this f from the 10 okay since this is an integer value then just simply save the script get back right here so on the zombie everything is attached but now if you click on the player as you can see there is the player current health which is zero if we start the game it will be equals to 100 and then when we take damage from the zombie it will decrease by 10 okay so now as you can see it is 100 now as you can see it is 90 and then whenever the zombie attacks it will keep decreasing okay so now let's wait till it becomes zero so that it shows that the player has died okay 54 3 2 1 and now as you can see it shows the player has died okay for now we still have the player in the environment but don't worry about this when we complete our zombie eye and everything we will be adding a death screen to our game so whenever the player die we will show the death screen and stop the game okay but that is for the upcoming videos for now we will leave this as it is